Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is none other than the one and only Connie over here. And today I'm here to yet again answer a question that was only once asked and that was by myself, which is, does smoking a cigarette in the morning before having any coffee or anything wake you up? And why did I come up with this idea? You know, because I drink coffee, but coffee is really bad because I have stomach issues. So I want to stop drinking coffee, so I need another alternative. And now I'm not gonna go jogging in the morning, okay? I will not do that. That's just not for me, you know? I'm not a sp sporty person. Not only not in the morning, not in any time, you know? But let me just close my window because there's some construction going on. So yeah, seems like today's video is going to be a hot box yet again. Um, but yeah, I want to substitute my morning coffee with something so maybe if i discover that smoking a cigarette in the morning actually does wake you up i could just record all my videos in the morning as i smoke my cigarette and get woken up by it the only problem is every time i smoke a cigarette i get a buzz and the buzz basically what it does it makes me even more sleepy than before you know it just makes me like super chill i don't know it doesn't really wake me up that much but maybe if it's in the morning before i even had anything else to eat or drink maybe it will but yeah let's see i'm still getting used to this stupid microphone man i still don't know if this is a good idea wait honestly like i really don't know if this is a good idea so i need you guys to tell me in the comments connie we hate your microphone stop with this but yeah let me readjust it all right i think this is better guys you need to you, you need to bear with me all right i am not a tech girl i don't know anything about tech so i'm still trying to learn everything but yeah let's go i'm gonna light up my chesterfield black and i'm gonna start seeing if it will wake me up or not and i really hope it does because then i can just stop drinking coffee and start smoking a cigarette in the morning and then bam my stomach issues gone kidding no probably not I forgot I had brought my other like phone to serve as a flashlight because I used to have a ring light, right? But the ring would appear on my glasses because my glasses are like anti-blue light. So it would just appear green circles on my glasses. So I cannot really use the ring light with these glasses at least, you know? But you know what? There's a couple things happening. First of all, I think my pack of Chesterfield Blacks have gone stale and I still have some of them left. It's a little bit of them, you know, like, I don't know, maybe seven cigarettes. And I will have to smoke them. And they are burning really weirdly. Like, you can't really tell now, but they are burning a little bit weirdly. And they are making, like, little sounds of, like, little explosions inside the cigarette. Like, pss, 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 pss. it's really weird. But, yeah, I think I'm going to take longer hits to see if uh, the nicotine entering wakes me up, you know, because it could be a boost in my brain. It could be, like boom nicotine and then my brain be like oh my god hello substance i am awake i don't know let's see dude i've really been enjoying this is weird for me to say all right because i used to say the exact opposite but i have been loving doing hot box with cigarettes which for most people out there is going to sound disgusting especially for people that smoke weed everyone's going to be like Ew, what are you doing? Like, at least I have a video that is like hot boxing in my car and it was a cigarette and all of the weed smokers were like, Ew, what are you doing? And I'm like, yeah, it was kind of gross. But now I'm, I'm so used to it that I actually like it. I don't know what's up with me. I don't know if it's a, it's a problem, but I don't think it is. You know, I'm pretty happy right now. So, no buzz yet. Do I feel more awake? This is, this is something I didn't really think about. For me to be talking, I need to kind of wake myself up so that I can have coherent like sentences, you know? So maybe if I feel more awake, it's just because I'm talking a lot. Because before, like for example, I woke up not too long ago and before coming here to record, I said like two words. That was max. So I, I was really like sleepy. And when I wake up, I don't like talking to anyone in, for like an hour. If anyone like talks to me, asks me questions, I'm like, please leave because I don't want to talk to you. It, I just don't want to be mean. And when I wake up, I don't want to talk. That's just it. And a lot of people are like that as well. But now that I'm talking so much, I'm probably waking myself up with the talking. But yeah, let's keep smoking. Let's see. I don't know, I'm feeling, all right, it's, the buzz is coming and I'm feeling a little relaxed, which was not my point, but it was also what I was expecting. Um, 
I don't know, it's just a good feeling of relaxation, but I don't know if I want that to, walk, to wake myself up. And another um, idea I had to wake myself up is, for example, I read that apples have the same energetic values of a coffee. I don't know if that's true, man. That doesn't sound true to me, you know, but I could try eating an apple in the morning to see if it wakes me up. But I, honestly, I'm not seeing how that is going to have the same value of caffeine of a coffee. That seems like some doctor bullshit to me that I just read on the internet and it's probably fake written by some Jimmy on the internet, you know? I saw it on Reddit, so I know I shouldn't be quoting anything that I see on Reddit, but just forget that I even mentioned that I go on Reddit, all right? Let's not talk about it, but I like it. Like sometimes if I have a question, you can search it on Google and you don't find anything, but then you go on Reddit and there's people that wrote a whole five page story about the problem that I'm having and I'm like yes so reddit is very helpful sometimes but most of the times it's detrimental it just makes me feel worse about my situation you know so I don't know if apples will wake me up but I could try that I don't know it's definitely a good feeling though waking up coming outside smoking a cigarette like if it's not waking me up at least it's making me happy and feel better you know so i don't know i only see pluses right now um especially because like imagine sometimes i only smoke one cigarette a day right but if i smoke in the morning and then i go for example for a walk at night this happens very very rarely but sometimes at night i will smoke another cigarette but i'm saying sometimes but this has happened like three times in my whole life all right but sometimes if i know that i'm going on a walk at night that, that day i either not smoke the whole day so that i can smoke on my walk at night or i record and then i smoke at night you know it is what it is but yeah i don't know i just got a little bit sidetracked i was talking about if this is waking me up or not But honestly, I don't think cigarettes make you feel more awake. I'm sorry if you came into this video and you were like, well, I'm gonna try this. I don't think it does. Like if you are smoking like me and you are talking to a camera like me, probably it will wake you up. But if you are just smoking, chilling, watching this video, I don't know if you will feel more awake. So yeah, that is the answer for this video. No, probably cigarettes do not wake you up. But yeah, it still feels good, so whatever. Damn, I really just tried to do a ghost in hell and failed it. My God. Another thing that I've noticed, like this is really annoying. Every time I go to edit my videos, I notice that I have a, a main topic that I want to talk about. And I really try to focus on that topic on the video. And then I talk about anything else. I talk about anything and everything. And I talk about the topic for like two minutes. And then I'm like, oh, you guys know, I, I saw a cat on the street yesterday and he was really cute. And I'm like, man, that was not the point of the video. Now, what am I going to title this video? It's hard. I talk a lot about a lot of stuff and yeah, I don't know. I need to maybe focus. I, I've thought about maybe if I do notes and then I focus on the notes that I do and talk about that, but then that's boring, you know? I don't want to have a scripted video. I just come here and say whatever I want and then I hope it's good enough and goes on YouTube. But yeah, I don't really have any notes or most of the times I don't even really think too much about what I'm going to record about. Sometimes I'm like leaving the house and I'm like, I'm going to smoke a cigarette. Oh, oh, all right. I'm going to record. What am I going to talk about? And as I'm entering my car, I'm like, sure, I'm going to talk about some random idea that just popped in my mind. Like some videos I have planned, like things I want to do. For example, there's a new trick that I'm going to do very soon that I have planned that I had to buy something for. And that was planned. But most of my videos are just like me just came up with some random idea and talked about it, you know? I don't know what's up with my ghost in hell today. I'm not going to try to do that again because it's pretty bad. Um, but yeah, let's do a French in hell. I would love to learn to do the Bane in hell. Bane in hell, I think, is the coolest trick out there, which is the one where it's a French in hell, but instead of just one string coming into your nose it's like a lot of strings but it's really hard to do at least for me i've never met anyone that could do it in real life so i'm gonna try to do it with no previous experience let's try that was not really it you know there was a there were a couple of strings but it was not as clean as i would like it to be but i don't i don't think chesterfield blacks are the cigarette to do tricks with because the smoke on them is not as thick as the smoke for example Man, I need to shut up about Chesterfield Originals, but Chesterfield Originals are the best cigarette out there. I am not kidding. I don't know what is up with that cigarette, but it's the best that I've had. It ticks all the boxes. It has perfect smoke, good flavor, good buzz. 
you know what do you want more from a cigarette that's basically it but yeah oh my god i almost burnt myself with my bud it's all right but yeah you know what no cigarettes do not wake you up in the morning i think at least they didn't wake me up i'm feeling relaxed i'm feeling chilled but i'm not feeling energetic ready to go on a run and you know i don't i, re I feel like i want to like just sit here like this and be like yeah life is good just looking around you know you know one thing that i really love about this uh, phone i think the camera angle is wider so you can see like more I'm not sure like I feel like before it used to be like kind of like this and now it's a little bit wider and because I have this stupid microphone that I still don't know if I like or not because I feel like the sound is weird I don't know uh, I can like literally be here and be like hello guys but I'm not gonna do that because my face looks weird but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless and I will be back very soon with a very cool trick stay tuned for that because I have a cool idea I have already talked about it I have already spoiled it because I cannot like make surprises for the life of me but you are going to enjoy it so yeah stay tuned for that and i will be back very soon bye